delicious Singapore hawker food at Maxwell Food Center. Welcome to another food adventure with Getting Lost. What we are doing here today, we are actually doing part two of our ultimate food guide to Maxwell Food Center, where we'll explore all the good foods that you can find here at this food center, hawker center, place where you can get delicious hawker foods. So join me after the intro, where I will show you the remainder of my list of all the good food you can find here. Any food adventure in Singapore here, I will need to you know, explore all the good food in the food center, in the hawker center, and here there's no exception. There's def definitely tons of good food that you have to try. And let's start with for one of the most popular stalls in Maxwell Food Center. We have here Tian Tian Hainanese Chicken Rice. This shop here is very popular, extremely popular even with tourists. Tourists come here to this food center to look for this food here and during lunchtime there's actually a queue all the way out. A very long queue and if you come here uh, you, during lunchtime you have to prepare to wait and here is the prices for all the items that you can order. So basically what is this is this is one of the iconic dishes of Singapore even though this dish does other countries like Malaysia, Thailand also serve this dish but in Singapore there is a bit of a um, how do I say this people here are passionate about their chicken rice and people all around the island have their own favorite versions of this dish and this one here is one of my favorite version so what is this dish? First of all, this is Hainanese chicken rice, which is a dish adapted from early Chinese immigrants, originally from Hainan province in southern China. So, the, even if you go to Hainan nowadays, you will not be able to find this dish originally there. But maybe now they do sell it there, but originally you wouldn't be able to find it there because this dish is uniquely in from uh, this region itself, Southeast Asian region. So what we have here, first of all, you have a nice cold, cool poached chicken, where you actually dip it in ice cold water to actually uh, maintain the texture and the moisture in the chicken itself. And after that, you pour in uh, this seasoning on the chicken is chicken to give it extra flavor and then not only that you also have the rice the rice cooked to perfection very flavorful the rice so good you can eat it by itself and then when you eat the chicken you also have the chili sauce the chili sauce their blend of chili sauce done also very well and combine all this together with sweet dark soya sauce oh it's just the flavors that mix the dish so delicious and go so well together but there are some consistency issues with the food sometimes the rice or the chicken may not be as flavorful as other times but overall it's still a very good and delicious Hainanese curry rice and lastly when you look uh, for Hainanese uh, chicken rice in Singapore this is what you're looking for this particular piece of the chicken itself you as you can see you have a piece of this piece of meat here you have also all the skin and underneath the skin there's a layer of gelatin and then the meat so this is what this is the piece or this is what you look for when you eat Hainanese chicken rice in Singapore 
and it's so delicious, so good. You just have to come here and try it for yourself. And as we are exploring Maxwell Food Center, you will bump to this store here called Maxwell Fuzhou Oyster King. And this shop sells something that you is getting harder to find nowadays in Singapore, which is an oyster cake. So each oyster cake will cost you two dollars. So it's actually um, better in the batter. They actually put in minced meat, prawn, oyster, and they deep fry it in oil and this item like I said earlier um, not many places make this anymore but this place here the oyster omelette as you can see here it's a bit smaller than I remembered it I think they actually the size did shrink but when you bite into it you can taste inside there the oyster taste and also minced meat and there's also prawns inside and it has a nice savory flavor, uh, a bit moist too inside, and with a crunchy outer layer with the peanuts on top. Quite a nice snack, but it is a bit oily. So for those of you who don't like things, you know, health, you like things healthy, this may not be a snack for you. But it's something different, something you don't normally find around nowadays. And if you like a light snack. This is something that you can give a, that you can buy to satisfy a small hunter. And at this food store, I have two favorite fish soup stores, and this is one of them. The name of this shop is called Jinhua Fish Hates Bihun, and here they make one of my favorite fish soups. And we have different sizes of the soup and here are the prices and of the different you can, different types of fish soup you can get. You can get either sliced fish soup or fried fish soup. And here they actually add in evaporated milk to the soup. First of all, the soup itself, the soup is good, it's fresh, it has a light refreshing taste even after you add in the evaporated milk and you can get the taste of you know when you taste the soup that they cook bones of the fish in the soup here for a very long time to extract out all the goodness and all the sweetness from the bones and also for fish soup it's not too greasy and you can also have the fish soup together with either noodles or eat it with rice here I had it just the soup is just the soup and it's good it's just so good and the fish still nice and crispy because I ordered fried fish and you can tell the fish is also fresh and well cooked and delicious and the soup is once you taste the soup the fresh the good the delicious taste of the soup will overpower your taste buds and you can taste the fish soup all the way to the back of your tongue is fishy, savory, milky and has an almost umami taste to it and very sweet and very delicious and goes very well with noodles or rice a very good, very delicious and if you come to lunch time this place there's always a queue and luckily luckily for us this place here actually open not only for breakfast, lunch and also dinner so we have a wider range of time to actually come here and try the soup up next is this shop called Yi Jia Teochew Fish Porridge and Soup and this shop here actually sells fish soup and this is the menu and they also sell two types of fish the normal fish and pomfret. Pomfret is actually a species of fish where the meat is more tender and a lot of people like pomfret but the price itself is more expensive as you can see from the menu there. For the time they open to the time they close 
there's always a queue for this fish soup. So the only way to eat this fish soup is to join the queue. And as you can see, they also display at the counter there all the fish slices freshly cut for you to see. And these are all the different types of condiments they can add to your chili sauce, which is slightly different than other places. And also another thing is the fish soup is prepared fresh as you order it. So basically they have a pot of the base soup and then these fish slices where they were put into pots to cook it with the soup, the fish stock, soup stock. And they do it individually as you order it. And the fish itself here, as you can see, is super fresh. And they also display the fish for you to see. This is the fish soup I ordered. I ordered the $4 portion, extra 50 cents for the rice. When you look at the soup itself, the soup seems very clear, very clean. But don't be fooled by the appearance. The soup itself is super flavorful, very delicious. And the fish slice in this soup is another miracle. It has an extremely good bite texture to it. Somehow, they are able to cook the fish slices and maintain the firmness in the fish and the fish is really delicious the fish is also when you bite into it you can taste there's already seasoned and the soup itself tastes exactly like the seasoning this soup is perfect the way it is very delicious very good the only thing is you may want to add a bit of cut chili to add in a slight chili kick to it but other than that perfect and delicious And here you can see there's actually a queue and the queue is actually for this shop called Fu Shun Shao La Mian Jia and this shop here sell roasted meats yes roasted meat and they actually roast the meat here very well as you are lining up you can actually smell the fragrance of the char siu or the barbecue pork and they really do their barbecue pork here really well, very delicious. And there's always a long queue. The noodles here are good, the price is good too. The pricing will actually depend on what you choose. So you can it will be around three dollars to maybe five dollars. So if you choose maybe one type of meat or two types of meat, or you want to eat it with rice or noodles, so depending on the more meats you choose, the price will be higher. So what I ordered here is I ordered two types of meat, cha siu and siu yok, which is barbecue pork and roast pork together with noodles. This dish cost me $4.50. They give you a generous portion of noodles and a very nice texture to the noodles. The noodles itself doesn't really have a noodle sauce, but they actually put a sauce onto the meat, the cha siu or the barbecue pork. And this sauce, delicious, and helps to flavor the noodles. Uh, without this sauce, the noodles will be a bit bland, but the, the sauce that's on the noodles here, very good. Or you can eat the noodles with the meat. So first of all, the char siu or barbecue pork. They do it really nicely and really sweet and tender. And the outer skin, the outer layer, the outer part, is nicely caramelized and slightly burnt and that gives it lots and lots of flavor very good very delicious and this is one of the better char siu's in Singapore in my opinion then the siu yolk or the barbecue pork you have a crispy outer skin nice and crunchy and the meat for both the char siu and the siu yolk is like half fat half meat so a very good portion of meat here very delicious and so worth the queue lining up in the queue also if you want to eat duck the duck also will cost more and if you should look at the beets here with the rice so what happens is they actually give you a sauce that they actually pour on the rice which actually helps to flavor the rice but here like I said earlier barbecue 
pork and the roast pork really done well and you can actually get a better view of the fat and the meat layers in the meat here Ooh, totally delicious totally so good totally you must eat come here and eat and try this the next stall is called special shanghai dim sum and what they sell here they sell a variety of things they sell dumplings the deep fried type and the steam type then they also have a hot and sour soup and then they also have fried rice and noodles and the noodles is this noodles here which is called ho fan which is actually flat rice noodles cooked in a starchy sauce so this dish itself is a small portion which cost me three dollars first of all the noodles itself is nice soft and tender cooked together with like maybe like some soy sauce and it's slightly salty but what's really good here what sets this dish apart is the sauce the sauce is super flavorful and adds most of the flavor to the dish the sauce is a starchy sauce it's eggy it's savory it's full flavored it's sticky it's just lots and lots of goodness in it the sotong and prawns was uh, is fresh but what's really good like I said is the sauce the sauce itself coats all the different ingredients very nicely very gooey very stickily it sticks to every single piece of the dish and makes it totally delicious very yummy and I quite like it Another unique store here, especially for Hawker Center, is this shop, this store called Lad and Dad, and they sell British food. British food in Singapore is not very common, not many places sell British food here, and finding it in the Hawker Center is of course quite rare. But, as you can see on the menu itself, they sell lots of different British food, and this is the item that I bought, which cost me $5 and this is called a patty this is the first time i'm trying this dish and i'm quite interested first of all the bun itself is nice and soft and then you have a, you have a fried egg and then cheese and then crispy bacon and then a hash brown and then another bun so this dish itself one thing i really like about it is the layers when you bite into it you can taste the different layers when you bite into it, you have the soft bread on top then you have the crunchy bacon all the way through crunchy bacon and then you get a different type of crunch from the hash brown itself because the hash brown itself outside is crispy, inside is soft so you got a different crunch from that and then you have the saltiness from the cheese and then the egg which is also a different type of softness and then all together held together by the bun which is extremely good but one thing is, it's a bit salty and a bit oily. But other than that, really, really nice and really delicious. And our last stop today is this shop here, which sells kueh. And kueh is actually bite-sized snacks or dessert foods. And this shop here actually sells uh, Nonya Kueh or Pranakan Kueh so they sell a wide variety of different Kueh the one that I want to get which was Onde Onde was actually sold out so I got a few other items the first Kueh that I got is actually this one here called Kueh Ko Sui and this is actually a type of uh, Nonya Kueh which is steamed okay. and inside of it you actually have um, coconut flour and gula malaka or palm sugar and they actually coat it with um, grated uh, coconuts on top so what's important what's nice about this is first of all the nice texture you like you eat this is because of the texture of the kueh itself and also the sweetness that comes from the aromatic uh, palm sugar and this one cost me 80 cents each. 
The next grey, as you see here, with multiple colours, is actually called a Kue Lapis. Uh, Kue is the, is the snack. Lapis in Malay means um, layers. So this is actually two pieces of uh, kueh here, and each layer is put a diff uh, is made in a, a, a different color. So that's why you have different layers. But the cake, this kueh itself, tastes basically the same taste, just that different colors. It's very pretty, and it has a nice sweet taste to it, which um, also because of the colors, are very popular with children. And the last item here is actually called uh, Lo Mai Chi or glutinous rice dumpling and what you have here is actually uh, a glutinous rice ball and in, outside you see dust it with a bit of flour and inside you can have either dried coconuts or crumbled peanuts this one here I bought was the peanuts version this whole box here cost me $4 what I like about this is first of all the filling is nice, nice sweet peanut, but the texture of the rice uh, flour skin here has a very nice bite to it, which really complements the crunchiness of the peanuts. Overall, a very good and delicious dessert. And so, we are at the end of our food adventure here at Maxwell Food Center. Thank you very much for joining me for my ultimate food guide to Maxwell Food Center. This place is definitely a haven for good food, hawker food, delicious food. My tummy is full, my soul is satisfied and you have to come here and try all the good food because you will not regret it if you do. Really, this place here has something for everyone. Totally delicious. Oh, yummy, yummy. Rabbi, rabbi, tummy, tummy. Oh, good, delicious, yummy. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, I was um, rendered speechless you know, for a while because of all the good food here. So, if you want to feel the same thing, come get yourself down here and try the food. And before that, what you need to do is you need to like my video, share my video, and subscribe to my channel. Ask your friends relatives, your family members, and even your acquaintances and the stranger next door to do the same. Yes, you know who. And lastly, but the most important thing, the thing that you must do is to join me for my next adventure, my next food adventure. Until then, see you then. Bye-bye.